everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. I hope everyone had a wonderful Halloween. Um, I wasn't able to do a video yesterday because my dad surprised me. Um, he called me early in the morning and said he wanted to come over because um, he had some fruit for me. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so yesterday was just pretty, pretty busy. So I, I did put out a video, if you guys saw it, um, I did uh, pre-record that a while back and I decided to go ahead and, um, you know, put that out. Um, that's what I've been doing lately is as I'm creating, I'm just recording the stuff I'm making, if I remember. Um, so that way I can show you guys my process videos and... Um, yeah, so I'm kind of behind on my videos, actually. Um, and then I was behind on my October Daily. So, yeah. But anyway, this video... Uh, first of all, this is cute, cute shaker that I was trying to put in my October Daily. And this was given to me by my BFF, Erica. Hey, girl. I absolutely love this shaker. And... Um, Unfortunately, I had to take it out because it was getting really, really bulky. Um, so I'm going to share that with you guys. This, that's what the video is. I'm sharing my October daily with you guys since I wasn't able to share that with you yesterday because it wasn't complete. It's maybe 95% complete. Um, I ran out of ink, so I couldn't print any more pictures. So there's going to be a lot of um, maps that you're going to see in there that I don't have pictures yet um, but yeah that's what happened yesterday and um, it's been such a long week I feel like it's you know since last week actually I feel like I'm like exhausted and um, I don't know just been emotionally draining also um, but anyway I just wanted to say that um, you know with recent events, a couple of my friends, um, you know, did get affected. And um, I just want to let you know that my friends are back <laughs> um, doing their videos. They have new channels. So um, I'm going to put that link down below. And... Um, yeah, my, my friend Erica, uh, who's Scrap Diva 29 you guys know her, you guys all love her, and why do I know you love her? Because you guys leave comments <laughs> on my channel, on my videos, um, and you're asking me, where is Erica? <laughs> so, yeah, she's the sweetest, and um, we all love her videos. She's so super talented, and... And she works hard on her videos, you guys. So, um, yeah, please resubscribe because um, she's just amazing. I mean, I'm glued to her channel. And I think we kind of all had Scrap Diva 29 withdrawals. <laughs> so I will link leave my girl's link down in the description box. So please make sure you resubscribe. You hit that um, notification bell button. Um, you know button also so you're notified of every video that she posts she does a lot of hauls um, you know even any of you who don't know Erica she does a lot of haul videos and um, she's always sharing projects and um, anything that she buys she usually will you know also show us um, samples of it so I love that about her channel and she's the sweetest person um, also, please check out Mimi's channel, um, and I will also leave her link down below. She's another super talented crafter, so um, please resubscribe, you know, hit that notification button again, um, so, because my girls are back doing their, their thing, you know, they're doing their videos, so um, please, please support them. So anyway, thank you, girl, for this. I love this. Um, so let me share... Let me share my October daily. <laughs> I finally completed the front cover and I did it very simply. Um, if you guys have been tuned to my channel, I mentioned that I decided to use this cover, this book, 
instead of my TN that I was going to use uh, because it was already made. I was going to use it last year and I never really got to. And um, so all I needed to do was actually put these Martha, Martha stickers, <laughs> Martha Stewart stickers. Sorry, I can't even talk. Um, these chipboard stickers or pieces, I should say. Um, that I got from Michaels and I don't know I just wanted to keep it simple the paper itself as you can see here is super cute with the spooky tree and I thought just putting the haunted house um, looked really really nicely with the paper and then I wanted to put the super large moon <laughs> Um, super large moon here. I wasn't quite sure about the color. I was thinking of edging it. Um, in the end, I didn't. I just kept it simple. And, um, yeah, I didn't. I just stuck everything down. Um, these baths were gifted to me by my friend Erica. And, um, let me see if I have those stickers. But they are super cute gem stickers. I love them so much. She just recently... Um, gave me those so yeah I used them these are the Halloween um, um, American craft I don't know if it has a name on it it doesn't really but they're puffy stickers and I love them and the bats went really well with this bat here which is part of the paper so anyway that's how it looks and then the back just looks like that I'm you know like I said it's 95% done um, I have I'm still going to put a charm there, I think. And anyway, let's go ahead. Um, now, my husband doesn't like me showing pictures. So uh, if you guys know me, I don't really show my family pictures in there. So I do have the faces covered up with stickers. So I apologize for that. But, you know, he likes to keep his privacy. So, yeah. So here is the front cover. So that was the only thing that I had not really finished on this um, album cover. So I did put this one on. And this is a paper that I've had for a while. Gosh, I want to say it's authentic. It's part of the same collection as this one right here. Um, I don't even remember what collection that is because right now I can't really think of what it is because I've had it forever. Uh, but I believe I got that at the expo. And here's my first cover. I, I just, I showed actually um, pages one through eight on my last uh, October Daily video. So I'm just going to like run through this real quick. And so, yeah, I wanted to, I wanted the first page to say happy October 1st. And there's a little skeleton guy saying hello, welcome, welcome fall. <laughs> And then this next page was, um, we had just come back from Disneyland and I had to take a picture of this spooky tree that uh, was the decoration in front of the entrance of California Adventure. So um, I put a few Halloween pictures in here just because, um, you know, I loved the decorations and we took so many pictures. I don't even have, I, I only have a fraction of the pictures I took. Um, so this one says hello pumpkin and there's, you know, all the pumpkin um, decorations um, from Disneyland and that was day three. Um, we only went there, you know, one day, but um, any places where I didn't really do anything that day or I was at work, um, I did put just pictures of Disneyland or my family. Fright This Way, I love this. Uh, this was a die cut from uh, a DCWV paper, I believe. One of the old ones um, that I've had for a while, I think. <laughs> and so, yeah, there's day five, which I showed you guys. And I made my little shaker um, using my fuse tool. Day six was my witchy uh, page with the cauldron and some washi tape from Michael's. And the goo on the bottom there, that was um, a punch that I used, uh, which was uh, Sophia's punch, I think. Um, yes, it was a Martha Stewart goo punch. Um, I'm going to put a, you know, I still haven't put 
pictures there because like I said I printed some pictures but I ran out of ink and this was a pie that I baked that day on the 8th and I had to put it on there and it says eat drink and be scary and that's a Serena B oh I'm sorry this cupcake here spooky cupcake is a Serena B um, stamp you are deadly sweet that's also part of that stamp set I'm here on the 9th okay so this one's new new page um, I had made some treats for <laughs> my daughter and I we um, decided to do you know to eat some Sundays and we put it on our dessert cups and then I said hey let's take a pic and um, we put sprinkles like um, Halloween sprinkles on there so it was just, you know, fun. We do that every once in a while. You know, we get excited about ice cream. <laughs> we both have sweet tooth, so <laughs> sweet teeth, I should say. Um, this is a die cut sticker, not die cut, but it's actually a sticker. But um, it's it's a uh, it's like a die cut though. It's um, not just cardstock, but it's it's. Uh, gloss and everything but you guys know this one from Michaels it, it came in a set and um, I thought it's perfect for the you know because it says Bon Appetit um, this is my favorite candy Snickers if you guys don't know <laughs> that is my favorite um, Halloween candy so I I ate it all up <laughs> I ate it all up I only got a small tiny bag um, for myself this year and um, it's gone. I've been eating it little by little. This is a cupcake um, I thought I would put here because um, it was kind of appropriate for this sweet treat page. And this is an embellishment that my friend Sophia gave me. Hey girl, I decided on this book that I was gonna put all the little embellishments and tags, um, treat bags, you know that my friends gifted me this uh, year for Halloween so that was super fun to do and it really helped me decorate also the pages so here on day 10 I made these cute paper clips using again the Serena B um, spooky spooky paper clips uh, cupcake paper clips and that is, um, again, a Serena B uh, stamp. And um, I just put some washi tape here. This is a washi tape that I got from um, Daiso. It says Halloween, Halloween party. I put this spooky, um, gosh, I don't even know, remember where I got this sticker. Uh, can't remember, but anyway, it, oh, I think it is part of that that um the sticker pack the same as the B bon appetit one i think and i kind of just cut it smaller i think i did yes i cut some pieces off it because it was a little big and then i backed it up on this dark gray um, cardstock from michael's and this is a uh, thicker that i believe was gifted to me by my friend erica Hey girl um, and then um, a spider die cut um, a die that was given to me by my friend Mimi hey Mimi and then this is a sticker from Hobby Lobby so day 11 um, I don't think I did really anything but there's a picture of my son actually <laughs> um, he this was uh, one of the pictures from Disneyland and he loves Mickey, you guys. He loves, um, he has like the Mickey um, wizard hat and anything Mickey. And anyway, he wanted to get this shirt and this was, <laughs> I kind of call it a drunken Mickey because, okay, it's, he's not really drunk, but you know, he's like barely waking up, I guess, in the morning. Um, it's a really cute one. And anyway, he bought this shirt, so I thought I'd go ahead and include that in here. And it was a really good picture of him, too. And this is his nickname. I call him Boo. Boo Boo. He's my little um, Boo Boo Bear. <laughs> He's my oldest son. 
um, oldest child, uh, but he's still Boo Boo Bear to me. And we've shortened it to Boo, actually, so I just call him Boo. So it's perfect. <laughs> Every time I see Boo, you know, that's, I think of my son. Um, this is my, another witch page. Um, and this is um, one of those decorative, um, like, shadow box, I guess, from Michael's. Um, that I had gotten and it's you know in my room here somewhere um, this is a cauldron this cauldron right here <laughs> with the witch feet really cute which I'm using for sequins I took a picture of that because I got that this year and I got that boot this year also um, so I don't remember if I went to Michael's this day but I might have and then um, this is a Tonic Studio die, my little witch cauldron. And I don't know if you can see because it's it's in black, but I do have witch feet there just to resemble my little cauldron with the witch feet sticking out. Um, here, I haven't put a picture yet, but um, at this point, I think I decided to put some rosettes, um, make like tool rosettes um, to put my numbers on so that's what you're gonna see on the next few pages okay and I actually use different papers um, from this collection I mean for, for this book sorry it's a little early for me guys I'm still waking up and I'm still having my coffee um, but anyway, yeah, I think this is an authentic paper, and this one is from the Michael's paper this year, the bed and breakfast, I think. And then this was another, I think this is a Jolie paper, maybe, possibly, <laughs> I think so, from my stash. And this is an embellishment um, from my friend Sophia. Hey, Sophia. And like I said, I'm just using... Um, embellishments from my friends so this is not completed yet but I'm probably gonna put a pick here and then here um, we had a mommy and me day so my daughter and I um, were in the car and I decided to take a selfie and we did it in black and white and um, actually this album sh shouldn't have been so very colorful <laughs> but um, yeah, with all the embellishments and everything, it did turn out to be colorful. Um, but did, this is one of the first pictures that I did print out, and I did it in black and white. And then from there on, I don't know, I just ended up just doing everything in color. But anyway, this says, Cheers Witches, Trick or Treat. This is a die cut from that bed and, Dead and Breakfast, Michael's Paper. Um just some stickers there and then again here I made a rosette using um, cupcake liners and put my number uh, day 15 on there for the next page it's a picture of my hubby and I and I put some stickers there <laughs> with two little kitty cats um, cuddling and um, and that's what we were doing here I think we were I don't even remember what restaurant if it was Chili's or um, I don't remember. <laughs> and anyway, I wanted to make sure that I had a picture of me and hubby. And I just put this little tag from that, um, Michael's paper. And then it says, Cre Creep It Real. And another rosette here with the number 16 on it. For day 16. And these also are die cuts or the cut aparts from the Dead and Breakfast. I mostly use that paper as well as the um that authentic paper that I have okay and then I made a shaker I love using these um you know aside from the sequins I love using the die cuts for my shakers this year I'm going to put a picture here so I haven't really done that yet and also I guess this picture I mean this page I haven't done that because um, I have to print out the pictures here I had to include my doggy and this is Teddy 
His full name is Teddy Bear. If you guys have not seen him, um, he makes a cameo sometimes in my um, <laughs> channel. Anyway, I just put too cute to spook. And I love this picture of him because he's so fluffy. And he is a little melty poo. Not so little. He's getting fat because he eats a lot. So yeah, that's my little fur baby. And then um, for day... What day am I here? Oh yeah, day 20. <laughs> and just in case, um, the font here is, I believe, a Dracula font um, on my Cricut. And um, that is from the... What is... No, see, I can't even remember what cartridge it is, but it's one of the Halloween cartridges. Popular one. Um, I can't think of the name right now. Anyway, this is um, my candy page. Uh, yeah, candy page. This is a sticker that I, I had gotten last year, I believe, from Target. These are Haichu wrappers. Um, I got a pack this year, and there, w there was this mysterious flavor one. And um, it's actually like a citrusy tasting one. I didn't care too much for it. And this um, lemon sour, this was a little too sour for me because I'm not into sour candy, not really. Um, if it's more sweet than sour, then yes, I will eat it. Um, green apple, that one was pretty good. And um, anyway, this is a Daiso uh, oil. And I wanted to include it in there because that, on this day, I did go to Daiso. So all the stuff that you see here is from Daiso. Aside, from, I mean, aside from the candy stickers, um, but the uh, washi is from Daiso. This foil piece is from Daiso, and the candy is from Daiso. And then here, um, I received happy mail from my. Friend Erica Scrap Diva 29 and I absolutely loved um, everything that she gave me and especially these two um, tags that were just super amazing and I had to include it in here because it's so cute again um, I will leave her link down below so make sure you resubscribe um, this was another tag that she gave me that's so super cute with this flying witch I love it and that was the day when I received her package so super super excited um, when I got it and I did a video so I will leave the that video link down below too if I remember and then this was like a fun week for me because I had gotten a package from Erica and then I also met up with some friends um, on day 22 was it day 22 Yes, I met up with my friend Mimi, um, who is Mimi Jocelyn Designs on YouTube. I'll leave her link down below. And I met up with um, Sophia. Now, I did not get permission to put their pictures, so you have stickers <laughs> again on here because I was going to cover myself up anyway. Um, so, yeah, the witches got together and it was wicked and we cackled a lot <laughs> so yeah we always have fun getting together and um oh you can't see it because i covered it with a sticker but this is a die cut here um that says best witches which is a tonic um studio die and this was uh, another die um that had a uh, that's a witch flying that's my only witch die I think that has a full witch on it and this sticker is from Michaels here um, I have the tags that my friend Sophia gave me and the treat bag it's so cute and I decided I needed to include it but I of course I couldn't stick it in the um, sleeve here so I decided and this is a great way also you know, just punch holes on your treat bag. So it kind of looks like a um, junk journal. And then you just, you know, adhere your whatever you want to adhere on the bag. So yeah, this is just a cute page, I think. 
and um, this Bloody Bites zippers here, this is eight candy that my friend Sophia gave me, so I had to include that. Um, and it was strawberry flavored and it was yummy. And on day 23, I was packaging my, not packaging, but I was kind of putting together some um, goodies from my friend Ophelia. And so on this page, I decided to include um, one of these tags that she made me. Um, hey girl, and thank you so much for my stuff. I love it. And so I also used a lot of her tags in here. You're going to find out on the next page. Um, this is a sticker from Michaels. And again, I made a little rosette. And this time I used uh, the crepe paper rosette for that one. Okay, so I made my shaker in the back here. Now you can't see it because I covered it, but um, I used one of those bats from Walmart. Super cute. Okay, and then the next page, um, I didn't get to take uh, pictures with Ophelia the day we met um, up, when we met up. And um, anyway, this um, sleeve here has a tissue paper in it. She had one of my goodies wrapped um, in this tissue paper and I thought it was the cutest, you know, Halloween tissue paper. So I did um, keep a piece of it and stuck it in here. And then hopefully the next time I get a pic with her, you know, I'll go ahead and put it here. <laughs> so I'm saving that spot. Um, but here I had to put one of her creations and I just put it in this goodie bag. Um, one of the packages that she gave me also had this washi tape right here and right here. I thought it was super cute so I did go ahead and decorate with that. And then she gave me this paper clip and um, I love, love, love this apron um, die cut that she, she decorated for me and it has the oven mitt um, along with it. It's super cute. I have to make some of these for Christmas. And then she had put some gingerbread men that are, um, you know, they're Halloween gingerbread men. <laughs> and um, she put other die cuts in there, which I thought were super cute in the little pocket. I just thought this was darling. Had to include that on there. And she put my initial. Life is beautiful. Yes. And then... Um, on this page, I had to put, include also her tags here that she made for me, which I thought was just amazing. I love it. And she did, she paper pieced this um, little girl here, um, which is a prima doll. And she, and she put it on a tag for me. And she put a cat here. I mean, just look how cute that is. I had to include it in here. And then she um, die cut, uh, this is, is this a Tim Holtz? Um, it's a Sizzix die. Um, anyway, and she put uh, candy canes here. So I thought that was really cute. And um, I love it. Can you guys see that better like that? Yeah. I thought that was super cute. So I decided to put it on day 25. And then here... My daughter and I were in the car. We took a selfie. Um, I actually did this little collage because we had our dog and we've been taking pictures of him lately. <laughs> and um, here's a cute one with my daughter and Teddy Bear. Can you guys see that? He's giving her a kiss. So it's so cute. And let me just tell you, my little dog has always been jealous of my girl <laughs> since she was a baby and he was always like chasing her and you know tries to nip at her he you know it's <laughs> he is so jealous of her and now that she's grown up now a little bit you know bigger he I think he's realized that he can't take her on anymore so um they're kind of friends now, so he still gets jealous because that's just his nature because he's our baby and we baby him, I'm afraid. 
um, to say, <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're getting along better. So, <laughs> and anyway, I always blow up balloons for him because we play with him and he loves chasing balloons and, um, he ends up popping them. But anyway, um, I blew up this orange balloon for him and then the next day I see it and there is this jack-o'-lantern face on it. So my daughter had, um, used a marker and I thought that was so cute. So I think she did a great job. So, um, I took a picture of it. So yeah. And there's Teddy Bear again. And, um, this was a plan with Shan, um, cut apart. It was a freebie on her blog and um, my friend Erica actually um, informed me about it um, through her video and then I had to print it out. So um, this is a die cut from that paper collection again from Michaels. Here I'm gonna probably put another pick. I used um, a Recollections um, Halloween washi on there I'm trying to use up my washi <laughs> um, I don't remember where I got this happy Halloween so it's just part of my stash um, this sticker right here is actually from Erica she had put it on one of the oh I think it was from this sticker right here because she likes to put it over um, you know <laughs> the barcode and the sticker price sticker and anyway, I thought it was super cute, and I put it here because this is a picture of my daughter down here. So this is her page. On the 27th, she had a school um, Halloween little costume party, and so she dressed up as a an Egyptian girl, or specifically Nefertiti, Nefertiti, Queen Nefertiti. That's what it is. So she was an Egyptian queen. So, um, really cute pic of her. And then here on the 28th, we were so excited to watch the season two of Stranger Things. So I had to include that in my, my book. Um, and even my daughter watched you guys. Um, she doesn't like scary, um, anything, you know, scary unless it's like super funny or something scary and funny. But anyway, she doesn't really like scary and ugly things. And But she actually watched this for the first time. She actually watched um, a scary movie with us. And this was a whole series, as you guys know, you guys who are fans of Stranger Things. And then she went back and watched season one all by herself, well, on her iPad. But, um, and she loves it. Now she raves about it. So <laughs> um, I'm glad she did. And hopefully they will come up with season three, hopefully, Netflix. Because um, that was such a great show. So that's what we did on the 28th. On the 29th, what did I do here? I don't remember. I do have actually a a journal. I journaled throughout the month of October. Yeah, which is like crazy because I'm not always journaling. Um, but I don't remember what I did here because my journal is over there. And anyway, I made another rosette here. I think I was just going to put pictures here. Um, I did something this day though. So let me see. What, what, what did I do? I, I think I worked on my October daily and I think I was just going to take a picture of, um, my October daily and my TN, which is my journal. Um, so yeah, that's what I left that page for that little spot for and I love this candy um, confetti piece from from uh, Walmart okay on, on this day I actually had to work and so I, I put here I worked and then I have this Hello Kitty Halloween scrub and it kind of looks like this you guys it's the, the same colors and it has a Hello Kitty with a hat and um, I've had this little picture um, this um, print out, you know, because I got it, I found it on the internet, and um, I've been meaning to use it, and I think I've had it for a year or two, and <laughs> I haven't used it, and I found it again in my Halloween stash, so I thought I'd put it here, because, yeah, I basically wore scrubs that looked like this, so anyway, that's what was on the 30th, 
And then, of course, 31st Halloween. Um, again, I'm probably going to put a picture of my dad and the kids because I made sure I took a picture. I haven't seen my dad for a while. So um, it was so fun to, to see him and for him to come out here and visit me. He's like about an hour away. Um, so that was fun. That was a fun treat for me and, and the kids. So I'm going to put a picture of him here. And this is a trick-or-treater, trick-or-treating kids uh, die cut. And believe it or not, I had five, five trick-or-treaters. If you guys follow me <laughs> um, for the past couple of years, we hardly ever get trick-or-treaters in our neighborhood. Um, I think maybe one last year or the previous year. And then, I don't know, but we, we either get zero or one trick-or-treater like we get very little well they kind of all came at once I guess it was a family um five kids <laughs> five kids I had made these cute little like treat um I have the cauldron and then I have the little skeleton head one um these little you know treat um containers and I had three made so I didn't expect five. So I was rushing, trying to get the other candy. And yeah, it was just, it was funny because I kind of like panicked. Oh my gosh, I don't have enough candy or I don't have enough of these made. And yeah, I had five. And so I made like two or three more of these later on. And did I get more trick-or-treaters? No, that was it. It was just that one, you know, ding on the doorbell. Um, and I had five trick-or-treaters all at once, and then that was it. So, yeah, that was my Halloween, you guys. So, um, that's it. And, you know, I just put this, this was part of the packaging of that, um, that paper that I used. And, anyway, I thought that would be appropriate to put on the end. And, you know, this is the back. I don't know if I'm going to put a pocket here. I may, because it's such you know, a spacious page here. <laughs> I should put something. But um, it was getting really chunky too, so I didn't. I couldn't like put too much in there because I put a lot of the embellishments and tags from my friends. But um, wow, I can't believe it. I completed, well, almost complete, 95% done. Um, my October daily. Yeah, so... So much fun making this. It was kind of a lot of work. I don't know if I'm going to do it next year, but um, yeah, I will try. But um, anyway, I have my memories in here so of October 2017. So I hope you guys had a, a great 2017 Halloween experience as well. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.